Even though I replaced my K-Man t-shirt with my Superman t-shirt, and even if I think I'm Superman and I can jump off this building and fly over those cloudy ranges over there, I would soon realize that I can't and I'll be a pancake on the bottom of the building. The point being is even though someone thinks they can, sometimes they shouldn't. For example, when I was training my father when in his 70s, may he rest in peace, but he trained me for quite some time. When I first started training him, I started training him like he was superhuman. I'd get him and I'd push his weights and I'd push him and push him and say, come on, you can do another one, you can do another one. So I was training him as close to volitional failure as possible, which I thought was safe. But what I found is he wanted to stop training me. And I said, why do you want to stop training? He says, because this is supposed to add quality of life to my life not take it away and every time I train with you I cannot barely get out of bed for two days because I'm so sore. So I soon realized that I was training him the way I like to train at that particular time way back in my 30s which is not even how I like to train now. So it's very careful, you've got to be very careful not to train people like they're superhuman. You've got to train them as them, the human that they are, not the superhuman you may wish them to be. So what I did is I took all his weights down and trained him, rather than training him eight, nine, 10 out of 10 from a PRE or perceived rate of exertion, I started training him around six or seven out of 10, what was comfortable. It got rid of all his delayed onset muscle soreness. And even though he was training at a low intensity, his weights do progress anyway. So you can still progress someone's weight at a lower PRE because as long as they're getting stronger, that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter how close to failure they go, as long as they go close enough, around six or seven, that they're gonna create some physiological change. So from there, we continue our journey as father, son, train, er, uh, train, E, and he added quality of life to his life by strength training without me actually trying to kill him and train him as if he's superhuman like Superman. So make sure when you're training your clients that you're not training them the way you want to train or the way you train a league athlete or way, the way you used to train in younger days. Just train them as they are. If they've got arthritic pain or they've got limited range of movement, then train them within that, their scope of how they want to train. That way you won't push them off the edge and they won't become a client of yours anymore. And that would be no cow poop.